Okay, let's start out by making a sketch of this. We've got a rock that's thrown straight upward, so it's given some initial velocity. Um, I'll put this one speed v, and it's up above the surface of the Earth. We'll put the surface of the Earth here, and say its initial height above the surface of the Earth is h. You want to know how high it up it goes? It goes up, goes up, goes up until uh, it's going to turn around. So its upward velocity is going to switch to a downward velocity. Um, if we call upward the positive direction, we get a, a number that's changed from, from positive to negative, and uh, it's going to go through zero to do that. In other words, the uh, the rock's velocity is zero at the very top. So uh, Let's call how high it goes y prime. I think I'll call it y prime. And uh, this is our before picture. This is the after picture. And we see what's going on here. This rock has some kinetic energy and potential energy, and it's converted into uh, potential energy, but not converted into any other forms. So we can say the total kinetic plus potential energy stays the same throughout, uh, given that uh, we're supposed to neglect air resistance. So uh, let's start out with. Uh, E in the before picture, the total energy in the before picture is equal to the total energy in the after picture. Uh, the c uh, energy in the before picture is the uh, kinetic energy plus the gravitational potential energy in the before picture. And in the after picture, it's the kinetic energy plus the gravitational potential energy in the after picture. Then uh, in the before picture, it is moving. We'll consider the uh, the rock to have a mass m. In fact, let's take a look at that. Um, mm, let's assume that it has a, a mass m, and that'll be interesting because we shouldn't have an m in the answer since uh, that's an unknown. Let's see how that works out. Uh, but to express the uh, kinetic energy, we got to assume that the the rock has a mass m. So we got one half m v squared. Hold on, let's let's cross out stuff that's zero. It's moving, so it's got some initial kinetic energy. That's not zero. It's up high in the before picture, so it's got some potential energy in the before picture, so that's not zero. It's got zero velocity in the after picture, so it's got zero energy of motion, uh, zero kinetic energy in the after picture, so we can cross that one out and say it's equal to zero. Uh, but it is a pi in the after picture, so u prime is not zero. Okay. Now, the uh, potential energy is mg times the height above the reference level. So this is our reference level. We've got to define what we mean by the reference level. Our y is equal to zero. Um, our height is equal to zero level. And uh, we're h above that in the before picture. And mg times... I call it y prime above that in the after picture. And uh, now I'm in a position where I can divide both sides by m. And if I do that, I got to divide it into every term on both sides. And I get m over m, which is just 1 at all those locations. So another way people describe that is to say m cancels, but you do want to know what that means. I'll uh, take the y prime g over to the other side. So g y prime is equal to one half uh, v squared plus g h. Then divide both sides by g. And I get y prime is equal to v squared over two g plus h. So the uh, final height above the surface of the Earth is whatever the initial height was h plus um, a term that depends on the velocity and what planet you're on. So the answer makes sense. We can even check the units out. Uh, dis units of distance here, units of distance here. This is, in SI units, this would be meters per second, quantity squared, so that meters squared per second squared, all divided by the quantity meters per second squared. So that just gives meters, so the units work out as well. So this looks like a good answer for uh, SAC 102, problem number one.